this is a complete troubleshooting guide for your Legends pinball machine. Now, if you have no power, you want to check under here and hit that switch. If that switch is not glowing red, then you want to go in the back behind the Legends pinball and locate the power cord. Unplug it, wait 30 seconds, and then go ahead and plug it back in. Once you plug it back in, it should turn everything on. And the reason why I say wait 30 seconds because that, that's a hard reset. We got a boot up screen and it is glowing. Now, if your boot up screen doesn't show up, then you could have an issue with your game board or you could have a connection issue going to your game board or going to the LCD screens. Now you should wait until it boots up. If it doesn't boot up properly, then you could have something plugged into the USB, and then unplug it, make sure everything's unplugged from the USB ports, and then try to boot it up and see if that works. So there's two different access points. You get the top from the behind the back glass, and you also got the cabinet access door, and it comes with obviously a key. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up, and I'm gonna show you the inside and check some voltages. So you gotta properly troubleshoot your Legends pinball. So let's go and unlock the door right here. And if you have any kind of distortion or sounds like muffling, it could be a blown speaker. If you do have a blown speaker, I'm gonna show you how to replace that. And if you have no display on your back glass, so if there's no display, you want to go ahead and check this connection right here. So you just slide this down and slide this out and reseat the connections. And you want to make sure the arrows are facing each other. If they're not, then that's probably your issue. And we're going to take a look at the bottom right here. This is where the boards are and the plugs so if you pull this up and out you can unplug the speakers just go ahead and squeeze this top piece right here and then this should come right out just no problem and to remove the speakers it's really easy to do and they just come right off like that and you do have to desolder them Now, if you're gonna test your speakers, it says right back here, you should have four ohms. This is a five watt. And right here, I'm reading four ohms. So this is good. So let's go ahead and check the other one. Make sure the other one is good. And that is four ohms as well. Anytime you're working on the Legends, always unplug the power. And if you're gonna replace the speakers, you're gonna to have to use a soldering iron. And I'm using a 50 watt soldering iron. This is an adjustable soldering iron. That's one. And that's two. And so from this point on, you could just upgrade it or replace it with the original four ohm, five watt speaker. Now the speaker itself could be good and you could have a tear in the paper and you could physically take a look. By pushing on this right here, you'll see if there's any tears alongside you know, within the ring, there's a ring here and the inner, inner ring, and there's no tear, so we're good. And if you want to solder it back on the new one, the new speaker, you just do that. All right. And just like that. All right. If you have add, if you have to add solder, you could do it. really be holding it and you hold it steady for about 10 seconds now you do have another connection going to the monitor if you don't have a signal going to the monitor then you want to check that connection right here is the monitor connection right here so you can reseat that and see if that fixes your issue but I'm going to show you how to swap out the board so if your game board is bad, so I'm gonna show you how to swap out the board. So if your game board is bad, you'll know it because you'll have no signal on the screen and the sounds and the video won't be playing. 
but you'll have a glow on the screen. It just it will, you know, display nothing. And these are all one-way plugs, so you can't really plug this one into here. So it's kind of dummy-proof. And then for this one, you squeeze the sides and that comes out. And then right here, this one actually has a ground connection right here you have to take off. And this is the Wi-Fi. There we go. And here's another one. That's for the speakers. And this right here is, I think, the 5 volts right there. This one is for the back glass. You lift up, yeah, you lift that up, and just flick it upwards like that, and that comes out. And this one is the same. You just want to go ahead and get your fingernail under that and flick it up, all right? And that pulls right out. Once you remove all the plugs, then of course you want to just unscrew it. And unscrew it from the cabinet. That's the ground. That one's important. And this is my board number right here. That's version two. But if you want to test it, there's your ground and five volts right there. So you could read those voltages and see if you're getting five volts or not. You don't necessarily have to check the voltages if you don't have a meter. Um, if you're not getting a signal to the screen and you got no audio and no video, but you do have glow on the screen, then it can most likely be a bad game board or bad power supply. When putting everything back together, the most important screw is the ground screw. So you want to make sure that is fastened nice and tight. I have my drill set to three torque so I don't strip out the screws. All right, so let's go ahead and plug everything back in. read it all the way down. So this is uh, zero, 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 and that could be a ground. There we go, 3.3, that's probably a logic voltage. 12 volts, 12 volts. Might run the audio maybe. It tells you 12 volts right here on the board. And 12.3, 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts. Zero, 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 and zero. That's pretty much how you would read the voltages coming from the power supply. But if you don't have voltage coming to these connectors, then you should check down there and check that connection, or you might have a bad power supply or just a loose connection right here. Now to replace the power supply, you're gonna have to probably get a smaller screwdriver. Pull this off, pull this one off. And this is the last one. Let's go ahead and unplug that. Let's go ahead and take that out right there. And this is the power supply. Now, if you ever do work on these boards and it's been like five years or so, you could check these capacitors and see if they're blown or swollen and or just replace them because they tend to go bad between like, you know, five, between five to 15 years, it's possible they can go bad. Now, if you're gonna check the fuse, the fuse is right here. And this is a four amp fuse. 
put it right here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And so the fuse is right here. And to check that, you just put your lead on one end and the other on the opposite. And that is good, a good connection. It's basically a bridge connection like that. It's like it's, um, you know, if it's blown, it'd be like an open switch. So if, if you're reading like that, OL, open loop or open line, then it's bad. But the fuse is closed and we're good. So that's how you check the fuse. Remember when putting everything back together, the ground wire is the most important one to screw in because without that, then you're gonna have a lot of issues with your Legends pinball. So make sure that's tightened. And same goes for that one. And once again, make sure your Legends pinball is unplugged. The power cord is unplugged before you plug this in. If you have issues with your monitor or you're swapping out your monitor and you wanna unplug this, and unplug this and unscrew this before you know pulling out your monitor or else you'll damage the boards now if you have a dark screen on the bottom or the dark screen is on top and half of the screen is dark or the whole thing is dark i'm going to show you how to fix that and you want to check these red wires so you just want to make sure those connections are plugged in nice and secure and you just push them in or reseat them if you want it to and that should fix your issue. So guys, if you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has a Legends pinball, go ahead and click on the share button below, share this video to them. Maybe it might help them out in the future. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.